got everything. I mean, you can go to a zoo and I can point out like uh, I've had like half the things in the reptile house. I had uh, large pythons, like 15 feet long, uh, Burmese pythons, um, um, small geckos, chameleons. Um, had a, a large uh, Nile monitor lizard that was crazy. I almost took my finger off. Uh, you name it, I've had it. You know, if it's in the pet trade, I, I pretty much had a, a project going with it at one time or another. We have uh, some snakes from South America called Honduran milk snakes. Milk? Yeah, milk snakes. That, they're named milk snakes because um, there's like folklore that uh, they're always found around farms and, and cows and stuff and uh, they thought they would drink the milk. So, <laughs> But they, really they were there to get the rats and mice and stuff. This is the female. Her name's Sharon. Well, how long have you had her? Uh, about two years. And she's in, currently in a breeding program with a male down there. What does that mean, breeding program? Appropriately. Uh, well, we're just breeding them. <laughs> well, these eggs here, um, been incubating about, I don't know, about uh, two and a half months. They're about ready to pop. You see the um, slightly discolored ones. Those are the bad ones. <laughs> Really? But it looks like we have a couple good ones. This is the first time I've used this incubator, so I'm um, kind of just feeling it out, see what happens. What did you use before? Uh, actually, I only had one clutch before this, and I just in incubated it in the cage. You know, turn the heater up to about 80. So you got to keep it around 80, uh, 82 to 84 degrees. The book says don't take the old ones out because you'll damage the good ones, so I just kind of left them in there. I've pretty much been interested in reptiles and snakes since I was a kid. Uh, I used to go in the woods and you know, catch garter snakes, hognose snakes, and it's just been like a thing in me, like in my blood. I just, I, I love reptiles. I, I love the way they act, the fact that they can hatch out of the egg and know everything they need to know. They're like ready to go like miniature adults. They're, they're uh, just amazing animals. Uh, this baby here, uh, last year's clutch, another aberrant color. I mean you wouldn't even think this would be the same snake, but it's called an anatheristic. Uh, it's like a genetic mutation. Um, these are highly sought after and I just think it's like beautiful, kind of lavender color. Um, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't think it's the same species, but uh, hopefully we'll have more of these this year.